Hello! I did a little experiment today and I might as well show you how to do it as well. Have you seen Continuum for Windows phones? Basically, it turns your phone into a desktop PC by connecting it to a TV, a keyboard and a mouse and giving it multi-window support. We can do something similar on any Android phone by using a custom launcher and Google Chromecast. Here's what you'll need. A Google Chromecast. I use Model 2. A TV with an HDMI input. An Android device, obviously. A keyboard and a mouse, those are optional. A USB hub to connect both the keyboard and the mouse into, though you can go wireless as well, this is also optional. And a USB to micro USB cable, again optional, to connect the USB hub to your phone. So once you have your Chromecast set up, download the Google Home app, then search for the word desktop on the Google Play Store and pick a desktop launcher of your choosing, I chose this one. Connect your phone to the keyboard and mouse via the USB hub and launch the desktop launcher. The experience, let me be honest, is not good. I greatly prefer using an actual laptop with a smooth operating system, but this, the image quality, is very low res and poor. I can only assume that's the best Chromecast can do. The mouse is sluggish and everything loads slowly. My phone has 3 gigs of RAM, which are clearly not enough to turn Android into a real desktop experience. But even if it had more, Android itself isn't ready for this yet. However, it's a nice experiment to try, just to get my expectations confirmed. So, is this worth it? No, not really. Phones and mobile operating systems, especially Android and iOS, are nowhere near as powerful and capable to be desktop computers. The performance is slow and it's pretty unnecessary to try it for any other reason but passion for such experiments. Phones are good at being phones, tablets are good at being tablets, and laptops are good at being laptops. Right now you can't have a good desktop experience on a phone, maybe in the future. Maybe Windows phones will finally have their day in the sunshine if they pull this off right with Continuum, but even they are too slow for this right now. However, this is just the beginning. Soon we'll probably be carrying our personal computers in our pockets. Our mobile phones will be everything we need. But not today, and not now. Subscribe to Mobile Tech Storm for more interesting tech reviews and experiments. See you next time.